Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing another episode in my Create This Book 2 series. So if you haven't seen my previous episodes, I have a whole playlist of them, so that will be linked down below. So essentially in these videos, I just pick a couple of prompts and then I usually complete them on camera and kind of show you my process of um, using the prompts as a basis for my artwork. So I think that's it for now, let's get going. All right, so the first prompt says create a knife painting. So essentially do exactly what it says. Um, I got a plastic knife and I got some acrylic paint out and I'm going to be painting this like little mountainscape with it. Um, I didn't realize how difficult this would be, especially since my knife had like um, a serrated edge on it, which kind of made part of the painting process a little bit difficult but I began with a background I did this gray color for the mountains I mixed black and white and then in front of that I have this river um, and then I'm putting these like little islands on there with some brown colors and this took a lot longer than expected and I was getting um, a little bit frustrated because I wasn't able to get the um, consistency of like color on the paper but um, I tried my best and I'm adding some shadows here with a knife with a darker blue color and then also some more textural details on this island. In the foreground, I'm painting these um, uh, like botanicals. Um, I'm painting that in front. I thought it'd be a fun and I also saw a picture of these like pretty botanicals on one of my calendars and I thought it'd be really fun to paint with a knife. So this kind of started and inspired this whole piece of artwork. And once the paint was dried, I got out a Tombow marker and I'm using that to add in um, both the background and also some additional details, such as little sprigs of grass. I probably should have done this um, before painting, but it ended up working okay and this was an easy way to get in a bunch of color into my page without having to use that um, knife because I was um, a little over it at this point, so the marker was the perfect solution for that. And I also added some more shadows and added some more details to some of the plants in front. And then for the background, I decided to paint this with a paintbrush, so I guess it is partially cheating, but I'm doing this light blue color and I thought that it ended up turning out really nicely and the color looks great behind the mountains. So after that was all dry, this page is complete and I love how it turned out. I feel like I haven't done many like realistic type of paintings in my art journals. Um, I usually stick to like more cartoony things, but this was a nice change and I think it turned out really well. Cool and the next prompt says create imitation. Essentially you're supposed to imitate famous pieces of artwork. So that is exactly what I did. I drew these out on some printer paper and cut them out and then put um, some scrap of paper behind it kind of to act as a frame. I didn't end up doing this on camera because the lighting was terrible because it was dark outside. So that's why um, you didn't get to see me drawing them. But I wanted to kind of make a gallery wall for this entire page. So I gathered some other pieces of scrapbook paper and I'm fill filling that in on the page to make it look like there is a bunch of picture frames on there. And because I was kind of over, um, replicating or imitating famous pieces of artwork, I decided to just do whatever I wanted in some of these other picture frames, just to keep things simple and um, that I wouldn't have to like search up a photo and it was just taking far too long to do that. So I just did whatever I wanted in these other frames. Take apart all the good things Stripped away what's there to do So many times I tried 
and the last page that I completed says create a neon page. So I didn't have like a lot of neon markers to complete this page with, but I did have a lot of neon sticky notes or post-it notes. So I decided that this was a great opportunity to use them. So I just played around with their placement on the page, kind of layering them in an abstract type of way. And I also made these like fake stickers on a separate piece of paper with different colors that were sort of neon. Like I said, I didn't really have any neon colored markers, so this was the best that I could do. I cut those out and then I'm just gluing them onto the page and adding in some more doodles with these neon colored markers, um, like little stripey things and um, squiggles and stuff. And then I had these stickers which were not really neon, but I didn't have anything else, so I just placed them around the page because I thought that it would add some more fun and interest. Um, this page was really quick to make and it's not my best work, but I still think that it turned out well. And that concludes today's video. Be sure to check out my entire playlist in this series and I have a lot of episodes and of course more to come as I slowly finish through um, Create This Book 2 but I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you let me know which of these three pages was your favorite and I will see you in my next video.